Hello and um, welcome to this demo video for my new 2HP clock div module. Uh, it's a really simple little utility module that I've been wanting to add to my system for ages. Um, you know, as well as kind of using it for controlling, you know, the tempo of uh, sequences, maybe having two at different divisions. Uh, I find it really useful for kind of making sub octaves and, you know, also it pairs up really nicely with the uh, mixtapes and tape samplers that I do uh, for kind of automation. Um, but yeah, I've got it set up in this beautiful little um, Damaru case that I kind of sell from my website with uh, the USB power supply, and we got it powered from a power bank at the moment. Uh, and yeah, my voice is coming through the intercom mic, going into a mixtape sampler through a U-tape scrubber and then into a delay, 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 delay. as always. Uh, so a little bit about the background of this module, um, you know, I mentioned it's something I've wanted for a while. Uh, years and years ago when I used to do a lot more kind of just one-off builds for myself, uh, I made this tap tempo clock divider out of three different ATI tinies, ones, you know, listening to a push button to generate a clock. And then we've got a kind of binary selector, which then tells a third chip um, what division to play. Uh, what's kind of cool about this module, as well as being able to, you know, do your divisions, uh, you can select whether it's in uh, trigger mode. So the outputs will be just short triggers, I think 100 milliseconds. And then um, in this mode, where the dis back display light isn't on, it'll be gate outputs. Um, so yeah, let's uh, have a look at the tap tempo to begin with. Um, I've got a little sample in the mixtape from earlier. We can maybe take a little take 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 Two, three, four. So yeah, you can tap in your tempos, and then we could have a division of that. If we listen to the gate input, take 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 we'll have take a take here. take take We've take 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 Great stuff. Um, so, as well as using it for kind of playback um, with the mixtape sampler, you could also use it for kind of automating the record process. So, if we put it in loop now, so hopefully now every so often it's just going to take some weird little snippets of my voice and replay them, kind of like a bit crush delay. Um, if we go for a slower division, we'll get longer samples. Um, they're always going to be little little micro loops because the way this mixtape sampler works, um, it's different flavour to the old one. Um, but yeah, kind of get the idea. So by being able to tap in, we can, you know, start to start to feel like what's Maybe if I took it out of loop, and then you know, get something else going. And um, I was enjoying earlier, kind of sampling this into the U tape scrubber, into the U tape scrubber, into the U tape scrubber, and then getting these weird the kind of tape scrubber, wonky rhythms into between the tape scrubber, into the U tape scrubber. 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 Let's see if it will record again. Scrubber. Let's see if it will record again. Let's see if it will record again. Into the U tape scrubber. Into the U tape scrubber. Into the U tape scrubber. And now I'm going to use a division of that tap tap to move the tape. So 
So I've got the U tape scrubber in a position where it's not going to move, but now if we apply CV, let's put it in the gate mode. I think we'll start to see something a bit more significant. So yeah, it's a bit weird, I'm kind of happy with it. Um, I feel like this uh, is, you know, a great little utility for any system, but uh, if, like me, you're looking to... Hello! Hello! No! So sorry for the technical difficulties. So sorry for the time. Um, I find it hard enough operating this equipment without trying to use a camera at the same time. Um, I watched that video back because um, yeah, it cut out uh, just towards the end. So this is now part two. But something I noticed in the video is um, I don't think I made clear enough what was going on with the tap tempo. So just to recap that a little bit. Um, if you tap in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So sorry for the technical. You'll see that uh, it'll store the tempo. So sorry for the technical. Uh, but sometimes you may need to press it more than twice. So if it's so sorry for the technical. If, if the new tempo is quicker than the old one, one, two. So sorry for. The, so sorry for. The, it will so just sorry override for, it. So sorry for. The, but sometimes so when it's for, longer. So sorry for. The, of course so sorry it will. So sorry for. So sorry Keep for the, playing the so same the, tempo. So sorry for. The, so if we try and so put a longer the, one in so now. So sorry for. The, so sorry for. The, so sorry for. The, so sorry for. The, so sorry for the technical. Two, three, four. So sorry for the technical. Three, four. So sorry for the technical. One, two. So sorry for. The, 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 two, so sorry for. The, so sorry for. One, two. So sorry. So sorry. So sorry. Um, I just didn't think it um, came across very well in that last video, so I just wanted to demo it again. Um, so as well as kind of taking silly little bits of my voice, uh, I just want to show how we can automate the recording and playback uh, with a mixtape and it. So let's take a bit of um, audio from uh, Ocoast. I'm going to just get rid of my voice now, but basically you'll see what I'm doing. I'm going to set this up so that the uh, main tap is telling the uh, mixtape to play and then a division of that is going to tell it to record every so many uh, gates or clocks. Okay, so let's have a go. So yeah, hopefully you can hear in that way, um, using just the clock divider, rather than the loop mode, we're able to automate and record my voice. Um, on its own, it sounds a bit crunchy, but of course you want to do something a bit weird like this. And then, then yeah, fantastic audio um, processing device. Whoa. 
So something I wanted to show you guys patched up was um, using the 2HP clock divider as a sub-octave generator. I've got a uh, O-coast here at the top and I'm going to send some square waves and then some triangle waves just to show you how it reacts differently. Um, and then we'll go through different divisions to hear different sub-octaves. Um, I love the way that going between the trigger and gate mode kind of changes the pulse width so uh, it'll go from sounding thinner to fatter. Uh, also because it's a microcontroller and you know it's going to do its best to follow the frequency of the input signal um, at higher frequencies really interesting things happen but especially if you chuck in you know waveforms that um, you know you really wouldn't think this kind of uh, thing would process but it will produce these kind of bit crushy uh, really odd kind of uh, chip tuney I guess yeah tones stuff that I, I wasn't really expecting but I'm going to show that patched up now absolute madness um, but yeah what you were hearing towards the end of that was it attempting to listen to kind of like di the dynamic output of an O-Coast you know with everything going on um, at points it will be able to follow it other times it won't um, so just experiment but with clean kind of uh, square waves you can just get a, a simple you know um, sub octave um, I hope that clears up kind of uh, everything I think you can do with this module there's probably loads more patches and ideas but um, I thought I'd just keep it simple for now um, if you have any questions just leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them but as always thanks for supporting uh, my work and uh, hope this is useful useful for people cheers now hello yeah welcome back hello yeah, welcome, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So sorry about that. Um, 